So the other day, I posted these photos on my Instagram and like 99% of the comments were Just basically you guys gassing up my shoulders. And I'll be honest with you, that was fucking awesome for me to see. Because throughout my whole life and my whole lifting journey, my shoulders have always sucked. Thin, unboard shoulders. That's how I've always been. And what's rubbish about that is all of these good physiques you see, all of these superhero bodies, they have wide, broad shoulders. And I wanted that. So about 12 weeks ago, I decided to change up my shoulder training completely. Adding tons more volume and really focusing on them. And 12 weeks later, I'm confident to say they're so much better. So this is what I did. Okay, so firstly, to understand my shoulder training, let me take you through my week. Monday will be upper body, Tuesday lower body, Wednesday rest, Thursday upper, Friday lower, Saturday a push day, and then Sunday rest. What I'm trying to say is throughout this seven day week, I can essentially train my shoulders three times to a good intensity compared to someone who's doing like a bro split where they can only train it once. Now I know what a lot of you may be thinking. Won't I just overtrain? Well. No, it depends. You see, if you're getting a sufficient amount of sleep, a sufficient amount of protein, and a sufficient amount of calories, it means that your muscles only take about 48 hours to fully repair. So from the second you tear those muscles in the gym, 48 hours later, they've grown back a little bit bigger, essentially. This is why recently I adopted the approach of hitting my delts three days a week with at least 48 hours in between each session. With that out of the way, let's get on to the fun part, the shoulder training. Now there are three parts to a shoulder, the front delt, the side delt, and the rear delt. When it comes to building that wide superhero look, the side delt is without a doubt the most important. So ultimately, this is why I prioritize that in my week of training. However, this does not mean that I neglect the other two. No, first, the front delt. When it comes to building those bolder looking shoulders, this is great. For these, what I do is on Monday upper body session, I'll do dumbbell overhead press. It's a brutal exercise. One heavy set, five to nine reps, one lighter set of 10 to 15 reps. But ultimately, the main thing is I'm trying to progressively overload on this lift lift heavier weights as the weeks go on in addition to that at the end of every single upper body or push session i will do one set to complete failure of cable front raises just to burn them out really next the rear delts this is great for making your shoulders look 3d like you see how mine kind of pops out in this photo well all i do for this is rear delt pullbacks every upper body session at the end two sets to complete failure that's it you see with rear delts when you're doing pull-ups or rows it's training the rear delts anyway so you don't need to do too much extra and finally the big daddy side delts again this is what makes someone look big this is what makes someone look broad and i do the same thing every upper body and push session to hammer my side delts at the very start of the session i will do three sets of 10 to 15 reps of cable side lateral raises and then at the very end of the session i will do three sets to complete failure of dumbbell side lateral raises and that's it i choose to do cables at the start instead of dumbbells because on the way up and the way down there's constant tension on the side delts compared to dumbbells on the way up there's tension but on the way down it's more gravity just bringing it down that's ultimately why the dumbbells are at the end just a fully burn out and honestly that's it this seems very simple and there's no need to overcomplicate it at the end of the day i have just increased total volume on my shoulders throughout the week and ultimately it has worked 